guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel, and I'm so excited to do this video. I feel like I say that in every video, but I am really, really excited to do this video today because the other day I went on my Instagram stories and asked all of my followers what makeup I should do. I had them help me pick out a makeup look. So I'm so excited and I'm really curious as to how this is all going to turn out. But before we get into all the makeup, you know what I'm going to say. I'm going to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and make sure you have that notification bell turned on so you don't miss when I post. And if you think these kind of challenge videos are a lot of fun, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And now let's get into the look. So the first thing I asked, of course, was about primer, and I put my No Pore Blum Primer up against my Sephora Beauty Amplifier, and I was really hoping that the Sephora Beauty Amplifier would win because I haven't used this yet, but unfortunately, or fortunately, however you look at it, I guess, um, the No Pore Blum won, and let me see here, it won by quite a bit, I feel. It won at 63 to 37%, so let's go ahead and put on some No Pore Blum. I have talked about this uh, primer quite a bit on my channel before. I do really like it. As you can see, I have used quite a bit of it, um, but I was just really looking forward to trying that one out, it's sort of given me an excuse to use it, um, but you know, of course I can use it anytime I want, I guess. Next up is obviously foundation, and I had put the Too Faced Peach Perfect up against the Hourglass Vanish Stick, and for a while the Hourglass was winning, and I was quite excited. Um, I hadn't used this in a while, um, and the last time I used it I wasn't actually a fan of how it looked, so I don't know if mine is just going bad, because I used to really like it, so I thought I would give it another chance, uh, but you guys went for the Peach Perfect. And it was a close race. The Peach Perfect only won 56 to 44%, but that's what you guys chose. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. I've not used this foundation on its own for a while, so we'll see how I like this. Like, lately I've been mixing it in with my uh, Wet n Wild foundation, and I like that, though I have gotten a lot of sun recently, so I think that combination is too dark for me because the Wet n Wild's a little bit too light, so I think I'm gonna have to uh, switch it up here a little bit. Um, so we'll see how I like this today on its own. Foundation is on, so now we're going to move on to concealer. And the two that I put against each other was the Tarte Shape Tape versus my Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer. Um, and the Amazing Cosmetics one won 53 to 47%. So again, not a huge win. Um, and it's been a while since I've used this one. And I will be honest, the company actually sent this to me gosh, probably almost two years ago now, um, and I struggled with this one for a really long time, so I just honestly never talked about it on my channel, um, but I have realized that the key to using this foundation is you use the teeny, tiniest amount. Like, you think of what a tiny amount of concealer would be, and you use like half of that. Like, you just use the tiniest little amount, and this honestly might be too um, light for me right now, because like I said, I have gotten quite a bit of sun but this is just all I've got to work with. So these are literally my only two concealers besides my uh, uh, Benefit Erase Paste, which is like a peachy one. But using this concealer more, I have liked it. It does last quite a while and the coverage is amazing, even with like the teeny tiny amount that you use. Um, so no complaints with concealer now. It just took me a really long time to figure it out. And this tube, I swear, is gonna last me a decade. Under eye setting powder is next, and I have my Becca Hydra Mist powder, and then the only other like loose powder that I currently have is this tiny little one from uh, from Ulsa, and this is just their mineral setting powder. And Instagram picked my Becca Hydra Mist powder, 66% to 34%. I have been loving this powder lately, so I'm so happy that this one was picked. Oh, and I didn't even put concealer down the middle of my face. I usually do that. Um, I don't know why I forgot that today, so let me go ahead and do that real quick. set that with my Becca powder. over face powder I'd put my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder versus this Urban Decay one called the Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation Powder um, and this one ended up winning this one won 73 to 27% which I was really excited about because this one is in my current project pan or no it might not be I might not have actually officially added it in yet uh, but it will be in a project pan if it not if it's not already hmm I honestly don't remember if this is in there either way I wanna use this powder up, so I'm very happy that this one won. And I am looking really, really like matte and kind of like cakey right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little of my Mario Badescu spray just to get rid of that cakiness a little bit. 
All right, now to make this face look not so ghostly pale. Uh, so for bronzer, I put my butter bronzer up against my Hoola Benefit bronzer. And uh, kind of surprising, um, I guess by how big of a win it is, the butter bronzer won 74% to 26%. like not sitting on my skin very nicely today. I don't know what it is. I just took a shower um, and exfoliated my face and moisturized and everything. I don't know what's going on, but it's just, it looks really, really cakey and like a little patchy up here. Now to rosy up my cheeks a little bit and I put Milani's Romantic Rose versus my Tarte Captivating Blush. And the Tarte Blush ended up winning 58% to 42%. It's been a while since I've used this blush, but I really like it. So I was happy that this one won. move on to my highlighters and I have those right over here. I pinned the Physicians Formula Butter Highlighter in Pearl against Becca Champagne Pop. And the Physicians Formula won 70 to 30%. This has been my go-to highlighter lately. I just love it. It's so pretty and I was worried when I bought this that this was just going to be like too crazy bright and like white colored for me. Um, but the other colors in the line just look too dark for me. Um, but I'm like pleasantly surprised that this is just like such a pretty color on me. to move on to my eyes and I did go off camera and prime and set my eyelids um, but first we are going to work on my brows. So on Instagram I asked if you wanted to see me use my Iris Beauty eyebrow pencil or my Benefit Precisely My Brow pencil and uh, what one? I don't remember. Uh, the Benefit one 68% to 32% and I have this in the shade number four which is probably too dark for me. I really probably should have gone with shade three but I have used this a few times now and I do like it. Um, it's very very precise just as the name implies. And looking at it, I don't know, maybe this is actually the right color for me. Uh, but now we are going to move on to eyeshadow. And the two palettes that I pinned against each other were my Urban Decay Amel palette, which you might know is my pen that palette for the year. Um, and I pinned that against the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And it was quite a tight race there for a while, but in the end, the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette won 60% to 40%, which I'm actually really happy about because it's been a while since I've played with this palette and I really like the colors in here, so I'm excited to pull it out and play with it again. And then not only did I ask which palette I should use, but I also asked which color scheme I should do. I asked if I should do a colorful look or a more neutral look. And overwhelmingly, people thought I should go crazy with color, um, with 87% people saying that versus the 13% who said stick to neutrals. So I'm going to try and make this as colorful of a look as we can. Um, here just to remind you is what the palette looks like. So I'm going to be focusing down here a lot I feel. Um, I think out of these four down here the only one I've used is the purple. I do of course need to build up a base so I think I'm going to go in with this yellow shade first. I used to be terrified of yellow eyeshadow but it is so popular right now so I'm really happy that I have this one to play with. I know it's not the most you know bright yellow shade but it's the only one I've got so I'm going to try it on my crease today. Um, and have you guys been following the uh, Jaclyn Hill drama with her new Morphe palettes? I don't know. I mean, I'm glad that they pulled them, but at the same time, like, why wasn't the issue caught, like, earlier in the production of this product? I don't know. Um, I was interested in purchasing it. I thought all the shades were really, really pretty, and I really like this palette. So when it actually launches, depending on what the reviews say, I might pick it up. Um, we'll see. But that Ring the Alarm palette especially just looks so, so pretty. And I'm kind of liking this color up here in the crease. It's just a really soft, kind of like buttery yellow color, but I'm digging it.
are complete and I really really like the look up until I tried to put that like high shine color like in the center with my finger. I don't think that worked too well unfortunately. I was able to salvage it a little bit by just going over it with the um, greenish blue color a little bit. You can still kind of see it but it's a lot more muted um, so it looks better now than when I first applied it um, but that like blue color or this green, what is this, green or blue, whatever it is, beautiful. I'm so happy that I decided to use this color. It's so pretty um, and the shadows just of course blended beautifully. I really, really like this palette. So, um, all right, now we're going to take a break from eyeshadow for a minute and we're going to get to eyeliner. So for eyeliner, I asked Instagram to choose between a liquid liner and here I have my Iris Beauty eyeliner um, versus just a traditional coal pencil and this one I have here is from MAC and you guys picked the, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. And of course I knew this was going to happen. You guys picked the liquid liner 71% to 29%. I am half tempted right now to do a wing just because this look is just so intense on its own. I feel like a wing would be really fun. Um, it's gonna be really bad though. I have not done a wing probably in almost two years, like not even joking, um, but I'm feeling a little crazy so I think maybe we should go for it. If it turns out horrible though, don't blame me. Okay, there it is. It's just gonna be a baby wing. probably a thousand percent better than I thought that it would so yay me for this eye now I just got to make them match okay yeah this I mean it's they're not terrible I don't think but this one is quite a bit larger than this one so I feel like I do need to make this one a little bit bigger oh my gosh you guys no I should have just left well enough alone, huh? That looks awful. See, this eye is just like, this eye, I feel like the wing looks okay. This is usually like my super wonky eye, but the wing looks okay there. This eye, just the way it looks, it just doesn't, the wing just doesn't work on it. <sighs> you guys. Oh, crap. Okay, now, of course, this one is huge compared to this one, and I don't want to mess this one up, but... kind of even looking so I'm just going to leave them as is and we're going to move on. And I am going to pop a little bit of the cold liner in my waterline. The so eyes are complete now except for mascara and we're just going to ignore the wonkiness that is the wings. I don't know that I should have tried that, but uh, I did, we're working with it. Um, so now for mascara, I just asked between the two that I currently have open. I currently have the Wet n Wild Max Fanatic Mascara and then a little sample size of the Benefit Roller Lash. And the Wet n Wild Mascara won 60 to 40%. on eyes are complete and again aside from the wonky eyeliner I'm really really digging this I love this color I think the formula of this is probably the best shimmer formula in that entire palette it's awesome oh my gosh it just went on so well um, and I did use a tiny little bit of setting spray with it um, on my brush just to make it go on a little bit easier but I don't think it was necessary um, it's just absolutely beautiful but now moving on to my lips the final step and similarly to the eyeshadow palette I had everyone on Instagram choose the formula, either liquid or bullet style lipstick, as well as the color. So when it came to the type of lipstick, regular tube mascara, barely inched out liquid lipstick, 55% to 45%. And then as far as the color scheme goes, I had people choose between either red or nude lipstick, and nude won 77% to 23%, which I am so happy about because I think red with this crazy color eye look would just be way too intense. So the exact lipstick I'm going to use today is the NYX Butter Lipstick in the color Pops. This is an old one. I know they've since kind of revamped the shade range in that collection. And this color is still available, at least the last time I checked. Uh, but it's called something different. It's not called Pops anymore. But So this is the finished 
finished look and I think it's awesome. I think you guys who voted on Instagram did an awesome job. Thank you to everyone who played along. That was really, really fun. Let me know if you'd like me to do some other kind of videos like that. Um, I really don't do Snapchat. I know people have done like Snapchat kind of things like this, but I don't even have a Snapchat. Um, but if maybe something else on Instagram stories, I don't know. Let me know your guys' thoughts on that if you have any other suggestions. I'd definitely be open to doing more, um, but I am just really, really pleased. I think this color lipstick goes really well with the eyes. Um, and like I said earlier, my face is kind of acting a little bit strange, but now that I've got the eyes and the lips done, everything is starting to work together a little bit better. I'm sorry, I keep looking at myself in the mirror. And the longer I'm looking at the uh, wings, I don't know, I might be going a little bit crazy at this point because it's so late at night, um, but the less I'm hating them, at first when I got them done, I, I just wanted to call it quits. I couldn't believe that I'd done it, but um, now looking at it, I don't think it looks completely terrible. I do have lipstick on my teeth though. So thank you so much for watching today and hanging out with me for a little bit. This was seriously so much fun. I love the look that we came up with. And again, if you participated in my Instagram story polls, thank you. This video would not have been possible without you. Uh, but again, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram either. I always have that linked down below. Uh, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!